Hi, I'm Shoini Gupta. I'm a senior and I took AB before taking BC. I had AB with Mr. Conaghy. It was pretty hard um, just because I think the topics were very new and very different from pre-calc. Um, but I thought that with her it was tough to get an A. I ended up getting a B plus because I didn't do that well on the final. Um, I thought I was I was very very close to an A minus and I thought most people were able to achieve that pretty closely. Um, normal BC classes move much well not muchly but are about a chapter behind the um, regular or the Gabriel BC students or the advanced BC students. Um, I was just put in I wasn't put in Gabriel just because of a spacing issue, but I have that found it really helpful to not go as fast because I have way more time to learn the material and taking AB was certainly a huge advantage on um on BC tests especially I didn't have to study as hard to get like pretty good grades for BC um like I've actually gotten A's on tests in BC which has pretty much never happened in the rest of my TJ math career um BC makes a lot more sense once I've taken AB because I can just reinforce the sub uh, the stuff that I already know, and the way that they do it here is that the homework question, the homework answers are already online. So if I'm like really stressed about having other work to do, I can always copy down the answers for the homework and look at the method without having to spend lots of time trying to figure it out. And I've found that to be really helpful, and it's made doing BC homework and doing well on homework quizzes and tests pretty efficient. Um, I would say that taking regular BC has also helped because like recently we had after snow days we had a couple tests back to back but at least it was spaced out for us. Um, Advanced BC had a test on Monday and then a cumulative exam on Thursday um, so that pretty much sucked. Um, one thing that's hard about the BC course I think are the cumes. Um, the first one was easy and the second one was not. I also think that might have had something to do with preparation and, um, first semester versus second semester. But other than that, um, I think the hardest part of, of BC, um, is actually, like, learning some of the new stuff that came that we didn't cover in AB. So, for example, in, I want to say, like, chapter six where you, chapter six or maybe seven, where you learn about um, rotating curves over axes or shells. Um, you do some stuff that doesn't come, that you don't do in AB, and those particular topics were covered much more slowly in AB than they were in BC. So we like learned those couple of those sections per day, and I remember feeling lost. So I was really, really glad that I took a B before taking BC because um, at the pace they were going just for the new material that I hadn't already learned, um, I felt like it was very, very fast. Um, I think that taking BC after AB was pretty rewarding. First of all, like it's not super new material. So if you study like decently, you will do well. Um, not that the tests are not still tough. There have been a couple of bombs, bombs there, here and there but um, definitely not to the extent of that I could imagine taking BC after AB. Then again, um, I'm not the best math student. I am a BP plus math student here, so you can take what you want from that. Um, general workload, uh, there's a homework quiz pretty much every single day. Um, and then you get like, well, you start learning the material on one day, you have one class, and then a homework quiz the next day. Two to three homework quizzes per chapter, and then about a week, maybe a few, yeah, about a week after the last homework quiz, you have the chapter test. The chapter reviews are good. Um, the notes packets they give are really amazing, and they have lots of practice problems, and the tests I've done the best on are the ones where I went back after I did the chapter review. I did all the rest of the practice problems in the chapter notes, and then I reviewed the homework and the homework answers online. And frankly, I don't study that much for the BC test, a couple hours maybe. 
um, you can do it over two nights is probably the best bet. Um, other than that, I think taking, instead of taking stat, taking BC was definitely the move for me. Um, because I didn't have to worry so much about doing terribly or having to learn a lot of new material. And it's a very, like, it's a structured class if you want it to be, but it's still very self-led also if you would like it to be. Some of it has to do with Mr. Carey being our teacher. He was very relaxed. He lets us do what we want. Um, we can either pay attention to him or we're responsible for our own material. So, yeah.